Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first episode of Stuffing Wake Ups with Nightwing. On today's episode, we're going to talk about stuffing Deathstroke's wake ups. And the main two wake ups I feel that I see Deathstroke's using is Sword Flip and Sword Spin. Sword Flip is fully invincible and has great range, uh, but it's heavily punishable on block, so you can always block that one and punish. And then you have Sword Spin, which stays on the ground and spins around. I think it's like minus three or four. It's very safe, so you can't punish it, and it is also fully invincible. Um, it just doesn't have as much range, and it's stuffable from the right distance. So I'm going to talk about uh, a couple universal ways to stuff both wake-ups in, uh, in staff stance, and I'm also going to talk about just some situational uh, wake-up stuffers. So the first um, wake-up I'm going to stuff is sword flip. I'm just going to go through the way you'd stuff it in staff. Whoops. So the first way is with standing two. All right, so I'll do it simply. See how easy it is to do? Full combo every time. Um, super simple, super easy, and you can keep doing it. Now, if they do sword spin, you can do the same exact thing. You just do standing two again. You don't get as much damage off of it because they're farther away. Notice the back three won't reach. And if you get much closer than that, you're gonna get hit by the by the sword. So um, there's a couple weight things that you can do if you know they're gonna sword spin. You can do like that and then get a full combo that way or you can just keep it simple and get a little bit of damage off that. You can, I think, get a jump too. Whoops. If you're at the right range, you might be able to get a jump too. Either way, you can also go for standing one. So, uh, standing two is universal. So, uh, fantastic way to do it. Um, now, let's talk about Eskrima for sword flip. This one's a little bit harder, but it's so swaggy, it's totally worth it. Um, it's using ground spark, which is a great Oki setup anyways, because after a knockdown, you can a lot of times stuff any wake up where they stand still, just like that. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna bait a wake up using uh, ground spark. And as soon as you, hold, you get it out, you wanna hold it to bait their sword spin. So watch this. Notice how it hit them at the end of the sword split right before it hit me. And you can convert a combo off of it, which I'm gonna to try to do. There you go. So 31% for that, uh, not bad. You know, and, and uh, it, they do it, you get them with that once, they're gonna think twice about doing it again. And so obviously if they do sword spin, you saw what you could do, change stance to Eskrima and then change back and punish with ground pound or whatnot. But if they do sword spin, you can also just, just do that, right? And if it hits them, then you can get uh, continued pressure by changing back into staff and doing ground pound. Um, now if they're starting to do guns and stuff and you're at a range, yeah, you might have to deal with that, but you know, what else can you do? You can always do that and stuff it and trade is in your favor because this is 8% and maybe one or two of the shots might hit you, but it's not gonna do 8%. I think it might only do six if both hits get you. So anyways, um, that's how once you knock him down, you keep him on the ground. And uh, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching the first ever episode of Stuffing, Night uh, Stuffing Nightwing. <laughs> Stuffing Wake Ups with Nightwing. Stay tuned for next episode where I'm going to be stuffing probably Zod's Wake Ups because I hate Zod. Peace!